Welcome to this UKG Ready Time Keeping tutorial. If you're looking to streamline your time tracking, UKG Ready is a powerful tool to manage employee attendance, track hours, and ensure accuracy for payroll. In this tutorial, we will walk through the basics of using UKG Ready for timekeeping. Setting up your account. Before we begin tracking time, let's make sure your account is set up properly. Login. You'll start by logging into your UKG Ready account using your username and password. If you don't have an account yet, you may need to contact your HR or system admin to get access. Dashboard. Once logged in, you will land on your dashboard. Here you can access key features like time punches, schedules, and time off requests. Profile settings. Make sure your profile is complete. This includes adding your correct work location, job title, and any other preferences your company may have set. Clocking in and out. Now let's look at how to clock in and out. Clock in. To start your shift, simply go to the time clock section. You will see a big clock in button. Tap it to register your start time. Clock out. When your shift ends, head back to the same section and hit clock out. This registers the time you've worked. Breaks. If your shift includes a break, you will also need to clock out for breaks and, and clock back in when you return. This ensures that your break time is deducted from your total work hours. Managing time entries. Let's say you forgot to clock in or out. No problem. Edit in time. If you notice an incorrect time entry, you can manually adjust it. Simply go to the time card section, find the entry you need to change and click edit. Add in hours. If you didn't clock in properly, you can add hours manually through the time card adjustments feature. Again, your admin may need to approve this. Reviewing time card. Make sure you regularly check your time card for any discrepancies. This ensures your hours are accurate before payroll processing. Requesting time off. Another key feature in UKG Ready is requesting time off. Time off request. To request time off, click on the time off tab and then request time off. You will select the type of time off you need, like vacation or sick leave, and choose your date. Approval process. Once submitted, your request goes to the manager or HR for approval. You will get notified when it's approved or denied. Viewing time off balance. You can also track your available vacation or sick days under the time off balances section. Scheduling and shift management. Managing your schedule is super easy with UKG Ready. Viewing your schedule, you can view your work schedule by going to the Schedules tab. It shows your shifts, breaks, and any time off requests. Requesting shift changes. If you need to request a shift swap or change, you can use the shift swap feature. Submit your request, and it will go through an approval process with your supervisor or HR. Availability. Make sure your availability is up to date. This helps managers schedule shifts that align with when you're free to work. Time card on payroll. Once all your hours are logged, let's take a look at how time tracking works for payroll. Time card's approval. At the end of your day period, your time card will need to be approved. Your manager will review your time entries for accuracy. Payroll processing. Once approved, the hours are sent to payroll and your paycheck will be processed. Make sure to check your pay stub for any discrepancies. Tracking overtime. If you work overtime, UKG Ready automatically tracks those extra hours. Your manager will approve those hours and they will be included in your payroll calculations. Conclusion and tips. That's it. You now have a basic understanding of how to use UKG Ready for timekeeping. Some final tips. Make sure to clock in and out accuracy to avoid discrepancies. Regularly review your time card for errors. Update your availability to avoid scheduling issues. Don't hesitate to reach out to your HR team for help with any time related concerns. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We will be happy to assess. See you in the next video.